Hello everyone watching and welcome. On today's video, I will be doing my little sister's Halloween nails. So this is our mini client today. As you can see, she has very tiny nail beds and we will be doing them today. So she said that she wanted these nails to stay on for a while, so we are going to be doing some actual nail prep today. So first, I am rubbing her nails down with some alcohol, and then we are going to push back her cuticles. So next we are going to cut her cuticles, I'm using this little cuticle cutter tool and this did not hurt her at all, like at all, I, I know how to use this tool, okay, <laughs> this, this did not hurt her at all and I'm not putting a lot of force on like when doing this, also she has very tough cuticles, I meant to say that when pushing back the cuticles but yeah she has pretty tough cuticles. So this is day 6 of posting every day until Halloween. Um, I really enjoyed making this video, fun company with my little sister. Sometimes she can be a bit annoying though, so mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and I love how the site turned out, so comment down below if you guys like at the end. <laughs> Obviously when you watch the video, comment down below if you would like um, this little girl to be in more of my videos. Now we are going to buff the nail bed so the tip can adhere better. And by the way, I like cleaned and cut the nails off camera because there was a bit of dirt under the nail. She's a child, it's it's fine, it's fine. But there was a bit under there. Didn't mean to expose her like that, but yeah, I did all that off camera.
So now we are going to go in with some dehydrator and I like already sized her nail tips because listen, it, I had to pull out my tiniest nails for this little girl. It, uh, yeah, so I had to do that off camera. After dehydrator, we are going to go in with some primer. And after primer, we are going to go in with some base coat. So after base coat, I wiped down the nails with some alcohol, and now we are going to glue on the full cover tips. And let me tell you, I did a good job gluing on these tips. I'm going to chew my own horn. I did a good job gluing on these tips. Like, they were straight, they were all straight, and they had no air bubbles. What? What is that? No air bubbles. Like, I did so good with this, especially because this is going to be like a French kit where you see her nail through. So like, I did good with this, okay? So now that all of the full cover tips are on, we are going to cut the nails to the size and shape that she wanted. So she wanted like like short almond nails, like very short almond nails, which I think looks so cute on her. Like I'm just going to say now, I think they look adorable, like cute little almond nails on her. But yeah, she was like being a little indecisive because when she first told me the design that she wanted, she said she wanted them almond, but then she told me that she wanted them coffin, and then she said square. I was like, girl, what do you want? And so eventually we just agreed on almond because she really liked it when I showed her how it looked. So yeah.
So these are all of her nails shaped in almond. Now we are going to buff the nail bed, which is very important for this nail set because she said she wants these on for a while. And she does like a lot of like crafting, moving around. And so like it's very important for me to make sure that the nails are buffed well so the polish stays on there and does not peel off. So yeah, also that's why I wrap the tips. So this piece of information I'm about to tell you is like so irrelevant, but I just thought of it. So we were watching Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo 2 actually, while doing her nails. You know, it, it was alright. Alright. I was trying to watch something like spooky for Halloween. It wasn't really spooky. I, I knew that. I already watched the movie years ago. But yeah, that's what I decided to watch because I saw it and so I clicked on it and we watched it. And before I draw on the French tips, I'm going to paint the nails with some top coat to make sure none of the um, scratches on the nail like mess up the design. Yeah, make sure you do this because I forgot to do this in my last video and it wasn't that big of a deal then, but it could be a big deal, big deal just like depending on what design you're doing. And now we are going to be drawing on some French tips with some orange polish that she picked out. I gave her a couple options of orange gel polish and she picked out this one. And for the ring nail, I painted that entire nail orange. After putting two to three coats of gel polish on these nails, I did some nail art. She wanted to do like stitches, like the like the stitch thing, French tip stitch thing. I know you know what I'm talking about. So she wanted me to do that, but we didn't like how that looked. So she decided to um, like she wanted to see how the darker orange polish would look around the French tip, and so she liked that, and we went with that. So these are how the nails look with all of the darker orange details. Now we are going to do some more dark orange details on that ring finger. She wanted a pumpkin face and originally we were going to go with black because we are also going to go with the stitches. But she decided that she wanted a darker orange. So I did cute little pumpkin face with the stitch mouth on these ring fingers.
after doing the pumpkin faces, I top coated everything, and this is how the nails turned out. So this girl is not a very good model, and obviously cannot get in frame, but we will not talk about that right now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because I had a lot of fun filming and editing it. Um, if you did, tell a friend and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.